Civil society has a major role to play in organizing for the nuclear weapon free world which is our common desire. During the Cold War we had major civil society movements opposing nuclear weapon testing in the atmosphere and this led to having the Partial Test Ban Treaty first and today the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. In 1982, millions marched in New York against nuclear weapons. But after the Cold War ended, a false complacency set in with the civil society assuming that nuclear weapons would go away. Well, they have not gone away. We have had more nuclear weapon states and we have more nuclear weapon use dangers today. Therefore, it is the duty of civil society of all countries to organize themselves, to form coalitions and to protest. To protest to their own governments and to protest to international organizations and conferences in order that their voice will be heard. Because with increasing democratization of international relations, it is possible that people power will be able to exert an influence in the same way as the issues of climate change, women's rights, indigenous people's rights, and human rights in general have come to the forefront. We in civil society must also exert the influence of people's power with regard to issues of nuclear disarmament.